Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Want to wish you guys happy holidays to all of you guys. Wishing you guys the very best for this year to come. Before we get into your reading Capricorn, I want to give you guys a quick update. Um, if you guys follow me on social media and you come across anyone messaging you pretending to be me, please make sure to report those accounts. I do not solicit I do not tell you I got a message from spirit out of nowhere when I've never contacted you before. So please report those accounts, whether it's on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, or here on YouTube. If you are unsure if you're following the correct person, you can check on my links here on YouTube. You guys have all my social medias on here. So with that being said, also don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get notified of the uh, videos that are coming out we have the tarot series coming out we're starting off on sunday so you guys definitely stay tuned to that also the yearly uh predictions uh for each of the signs is also coming so you guys stay tuned for that all right let's get into your reading capricorn sun moon rising venus spirit guides ancestors and archangels what are the messages for capricorn sun moon rising venus regarding their love life for the month of december 2021 Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn, your season is coming up. Happy birthday to all of you guys. We are just around the corner, right? <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> all right, give me one second as I did drop a couple of cards here. <clears throat> All right, let's get into it. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more. All right, Capricorn, we're starting off here with the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups could indicate walking away from a situation that is no longer serving you. This can also represent the partner pulling away or creating some type of distancing between you and them. Now your next card here is the Queen of Cups, maybe dealing with water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, this can also represent your energy coming up. It's almost like you're ready to walk away. I feel like for some of you guys, you were holding back or being very guarded. Um, the moment you started to open up, allowing them to get closer to you or to... Um, connect with you on a deeper basis capricorn i feel like something the dynamic changed here and it's almost like what i'm getting here with this queen of cups and the eight of cups it's almost like they tried or they were like working really hard to win you over and the moment they realized that uh, you were getting closer to them or that you were emotionally available it's like they kind of started getting cold feet and they started walking away or creating distance or even uh, stop communication altogether. Now, the next card here is the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is them deciding not to come towards you or take no action. I don't see any movement or any progress for the month of December. Um, if you are hoping or wanting to hear from the person, I feel like they're very much stuck in their old patterns or their old behavior. Could be that they're stuck on a situation. By situation, I mean a specific person. Uh, perhaps not fully moved on or hasn't really healed from a previous relationship or they may in fact be dealing with the situation that makes them feel stuck or like they're not able to move forward. So again, I don't see any movement on their part. Let's get a clarification here. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is an indication of um, getting to the point of an ending cycle. I feel that this is you, Capricorn, walking away from this situation. It has emotionally drained you. Um, you've put in as much effort as you possibly can. And, you know, Capricorns do have a tendency of being very um, methodical, right, when allowing people to get closer to you. Uh, it's just a natural defensive mechanism. And I feel like the moment that you realize uh, they're either taking advantage of that or your good nature 
um, you're kind of like the alarms are going off and you're kind of like, OK, I'm going to pull back. I'm going to, you know, fall back. I feel like you're taking the high road in the situation. And that's definitely the best to your interest right now, Capricorn, because I don't see this moving uh, forward in any way for the month of December. With the Ten of Swords, it's embracing the endings, anything that's coming to an ending cycle, anything that's not working for you. You've outgrown these situations, Capricorn. Continue on working on yourself and making yourself a priority. I think that that's something that's been very, like the focus of your energy for the past three months. It's about focusing on yourself. It's all to do with self-worthiness um, or knowing and understanding what your worthiness is not to or how others view view you but it has some more to do with the worthiness within yourself capricorn and the understanding that you don't have to prove yourself you don't have to um say yes you don't have to accommodate other people um just so that you can be perceived um as you know just so that you can be perceived or accepted what they're telling you, it's okay to have boundaries and it's about making yourself a priority and knowing that you are the prize Capricorn. Ten of Swords can also indicate karmic cycle. I do want to point out that we will be going through a Venus retrograde. So again, this could indicate a recurring cycle that's been happening where at this point, it's about embracing the endings um, with you know, embracing it with good nature, understanding that sometimes we outgrow people. Sometimes um, we're so fixated on the outcome that we want that we don't really t stop to think, is this really a person I like? Is this person really what I'm looking for in a partner? So again, we go back to that of self-worthiness and knowing that you are the prize Capricorn. I'm going to be pulling out an oracle card. What is the oracle card? What is the energy that you want to communicate to Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Uh, their person of interest or the person that they're dealing with. Okay, here we go. And we have, I scared myself that day. So... Someone here in this connection has the fear of commitment or has the fear of allowing people to get closer to them. This could be you, Capricorn, but I feel very strongly that this has to do with the person you're dealing with. So in essence, I feel like this person actually hasn't fully moved on from a situation or from a person from the past. I feel like they were trying to um, start or build something with you, but I feel like the moment that you they felt reciprocation was the moment that, you know, they kind of came back around and decided to pull back their energy because there is fear there of some type of commitment or connecting with someone. Um, scared of showing their vulnerable side, um, especially if you are dealing with a person that's extremely stubborn. So again, I feel like the chase between trying to convince you or having you or getting you Capricorn was very exciting. Um, the moment that they realized that potentially something can come from that, they took that for granted. So again, pull your energy back. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope that this gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Till then, happy holidays.